Then we had in Tombstone, Arizona, Lewis gets the idea. There's the, a sign that says, like, best sarsaparilla root beer in the world. And, you know, normally when a diner says best cup of coffee in the world, it's not literally true. But Lewis saw this root beer thing, and Lewis likes root beer. So he actually went over and started having this discussion. Well, te technically, it's sarsaparilla. Right. It's not actually root beer. Right. He's in, engaged in this bizarre discussion, and I took a picture and we put it up. It's on, if you go to twitter.com slash David Pakman Show or facebook.com slash David Pakman Show, the picture is up, and Lewis is fully engaged drinking this root beer. And if you just look at the picture of the two people he's talking to, you will wonder what on earth is Lewis doing in this picture. I mean, it is, it is flat out bizarre. And then the other thing that happened is I was accused, we were both accused of being anti-gay. Mm -hmm. We were at this bar in Tucson, and it was kind of this big community table. So there's a lot of people you don't know sitting at it, and we're there. And a group of people comes in. It was about six people, uh, four guys and and uh, and two women. Mm -hmm. And there's this one guy who's completely drunk, completely drunk, to the point where most people would not even be conscious still. In other words, somehow this guy was remaining conscious even at the drunk drunk level that he was. Right. And he just kind of like drapes himself across the table and the table is not completely sturdy. In other words, there's just like one pole in the middle holding it up. So it starts shaking and the drinks, our drinks start sliding around. Pretty annoying. At this point, two guys come over that are as part of the group. They're clearly on a date. Okay. And their friend just continues leaning over the table one time after another. The table's shaking and shaking and shaking. And Lewis says, why don't we go check out outside? Because it was also an outdoor bar. So we all get up and go over there. And as we're walking away, one of the two guys that's on a date, one of these gay guys says, uh, kind of under his breath, but clearly loud, loud enough for me to hear, well, I guess someone doesn't like gay people as we're walking away, interpreting that we were walking away because two gay guys came up to the table as opposed to because your drunk friend is shaking the table. And, in, and one of the most annoying people I've ever had the, the chance to bump into anywhere. Yeah, and there was this really weird draft coming from some vent right above me that was kind of annoying. Too. All right, well, I didn't know about that. So I, I thought I should go back and say to this guy, have you seen the Brian Fisher interview? Did you see when he, he was talking about the rectal wall being one cell thick? Have you seen that interview? Because I think if you did, you wouldn't be calling me anti-gay. Mm. But I didn't, just on the off chance that the guy was... Then on the way out, he bumped into you. That's right, yeah. On the way out, purposely, the guy just kind of like sidled up from about 20 feet away purposely just to bump into me and, and, and bump me off of my walk as I was putting my, my glass back on the bar. What mm -hmm. can you do? I don't know. Yeah, oh well. I mean, if he only knew the interviews that had gone on, he wouldn't be saying that, right? Right. I think like our, like our friend said, it probably stems from his insecurity. You think so? Yeah. He didn't seem too secure with himself.